often wonder about myself that if I was not born in Europe and my parents are not broad-minded, then would I not be able to do what I have achieved so far? Justice! We want justice! We should not let our daughters, sisters and wives to live the lives of prisoners. Instead, we should protect and encourage them that they can live the life to their fullest. Today we have gathered and we're going to do a march and we will submit our petition and raising the awareness about the issue of forced conversion in Pakistan. There are many women from religious minority communities, mainly Hindus and Christians, who are forcibly converted. Every month, more than 20 uh, Sindhi Hindu girls underage are being kidnapped, abducted from their houses or from the streets, and made into forced conversion through the marriages into Islam. I had been, um, you know, uh, a victim of that, and my, my parents got threats by a person who wanted me to uh, marry. He was a police officer and he was using his uh, power to just threat my parents that if they do not marry me off to that gentleman, I'll be abducted and forcibly be married to that guy. In 20 years, the scene has changed, but not for the better, because now they abduct underage girls, 14 years, kids. They marry them off to the rapist and the case is closed. I show my sympathies to the one who are persecuted. I want them to have the same rights as we have. It can either help or for the family. For save our daughters. Daar gaan we voor us. Voor onze vrouwen en jonge meisjes. Yes, yes. We need women rights. We need women rights. It's a shame that we are welcomed with open arms in Europe, but we are being discriminated in Pakistan. Minorities, they always face discrimination. And it's not only a day or a case, it's a daily basis uh, we had that. Muslims, they consider us that we are only for the sweeping jobs. That's why they call us only sweepers. They always dis discriminate and even the, they, if they get a chance and they just uh, kill the person. There are many, many issues if, I, if we start, but one is blasphemy law, uh, and uh, that was made famous by the case uh, As of Asia Bibi, uh, who was convicted of blasphemy law. Asia Bibi, an agricultural laborer, was falsely alleged of blasphemy. She was arrested by police. Further court trials, Lahore High Court sentenced her to death. Many lives have been sacrificed to prove that she was not a blasphemous. We are a Christian party, but we stand up for all minorities, especially in Pakistan, including Asia Bibi. And uh, of course, we all know that she will be released hopefully soon. Thanks to all of you that protested for her freedom, uh, not only for her, but for many others who are in prison and who are victims of the blasphemy law, which is a serious danger to a lot of religious minorities in Pakistan. Asia Bibi was a Christian. Christian agenda is very high on the international media. But I do not see international media taking a quite constructive step towards the Hindu minorities within Pakistan. Blasphemy law is a law that has been misused for the last two decades. The government of Pakistan should revisit it uh, or make some measures so that the misuse of that is stopped. The system 
and the government and the judiciary and the police uh, are all also part of this practice. In Sindh province, there was a lot of Sindhi women activists who actually managed to introduce the bill within the Provisional Assembly. But let me tell you, the governor of the federal government actually refused to sign that bill. So you could see that how powerful uh, the Islamic institutes or Islamic organizations are within the Pakistani state. We are here today to have a constructive talk with the government to actually legalize this matter and bring the law and implementation. We have the minorities uh, high on the political agenda as well in Brussels as here in uh, Den Haag. Thank you very much for your coming and I will be happy to receive the petition. There must be a legal protection for minorities we don't need only laws, we need implementation of the laws and we need assurance from international community that they will force on Pakistan to implement these laws. No to force intervention. No to force intervention. We need women's rights. We need women's rights. We need to join forces. And again, we are not uh, against Pakistan. We are Pakistanis. We take pride in, in that. But we want Pakistan uh, to be a place to live in and not to flee from. Thank you very much. If we have a new government in place, there's opportunity for international media uh, governments to put a pressure on uh, 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 Prime Minister Khan to sign this bill and introduce implementation measure. I think that's one of the key step one. And I really bring and urge the journalists and the media community to take an interest in this area which has not been explored and bring this problem to the international community and promote that issue. My main motive of coming here today is to address the parents, family, communities and the governments that they should change their mindset and take decisions. Whatever situation you have right now, be confident. My message to all the young girls, please fight for your own rights so that the future will be brighter and beautiful.